about your mental health, right? Mental health comes from what do you do on a physical level every day that, that keeps the mind right, keeps the mind in tune. This morning we got Craig Levinson. He represents another friend, Zion Clark. Craig's a pretty solid dude, man. He has done wonders with Zion, number one, continuing to elevate his persona, getting him bigger and bigger opportunities, and staying true to who they want to be. Craig's an athlete himself, also at, at one point was a trainer, a startup, was a professional athlete. He's always working hard. One of those good dudes that gets up in the morning, makes sure that his fitness is a non-negotiable. But anyway, you'll see more about him. He's about to pull up. What's up, man? What's up, bro? Thank you for making the trip, bro. Boxing, the only thing I'll do this for. Got your stuff, man. Take your time and get ready, bro. How old were you when you came to the States? Uh, 19. You played college basketball? Yeah. Where'd you play? In San Diego. What position you play? Shooting guard. Where'd you play after that? I played a little bit of pro ball before I even moved to the States. Where? In New Zealand. I had a career ending injury and then transitioned into the work on Zion. People hold on to a dream that's no longer there sometimes, and then they could put focus into other things for that time. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's hard, but it made the decision easy. Exactly, yeah. So once you met Zion, how long had you known him before you started to work together? Probably about a year. Yeah. It was like a friendship and bond that formed, that then developed. He's grown up without a family, without people he can rely on. His God is always up, just naturally. So once he realized he could trust me and rely on me, that's when the doors open up for us, and that's where he know he had a support system in me. His mom adopted him at 17, and she taught him things that a woman and mom can teach you. But he never really had like a male mentor or support system that was teaching him about life from like a, a male perspective, or a male role model. So when I came in, it was a lot of different roles, from a friendship to an older brother to in the working relationship of being his manager. Is it hard to manage that relationship as a friend and also the work? It can be because we also lived together for a while. I brought him in and we lived together, and but we figured it out. What do you look for in talent that you plan to represent? Their willingness to want it, that drive. And that's the first thing I look for, is that true willingness to want whatever success they want in their life, and me being a support system to them. Because they got to want it, number one, for you to be able to do your job as a good support system. If there's no drive or like inner flame inside of them, now you're dragging them along. That'll never work. That'll be outgrown to the point where you become distant. Are there one or two things that are kind of non-negotiable for you? Ego is a big one. Like everybody has an ego to a degree. How you harness that and use that as power to move yourself forward as opposed to thinking you're on a pedestal. I'm above then. It's something that really turns me off people. I pride myself on humility and being a good person and showing up in the world and treating everybody with the same respect. I represent people with physical differences or disabilities and I don't treat them any different. I don't think they deserve to be treated any different and it's about humanizing people. So when I come across people that have success in their life but they sit on a pedestal, it's probably the most off-putting thing for me and, and not wanting to work with them no matter how successful they are no matter how skilled they are at their craft i show up in the world as who i am and i like people around me that do the same can you talk about some of the pressures you put on yourself to deliver for your clients what that's like i put a lot of expectation on myself in life and problem solve and figure things out along the way i didn't have a path to navigate i'll figure it out along the way and i'll, yeah. I'll take it as far as i can go that resilience that I've built through myself, I take it on the world sometimes, just figure things out along the way. I think I put more pressure on myself than clients put on me. I know I'm accountable, I know I show up, and I know I give 100% of myself to anything I do. I can sleep well at night knowing that I delivered on anything I can, that's kind of how I view it. I always see you training, I always see you recovering. Do you have like a very like specific routine, whether it's your morning routine or like the fact that you work out, it looks like every day. Are yeah. there any kind of non-negotiables on a daily basis? Yeah, I have to move do something active every day. That, that's huge to me. Something active and then something recovery based. It might be yoga, it might be sitting in a sauna, it might be an ice bath. Meditation is very important to me. I start my day and I set the tone of my day. Meditation allows me to then take on the world. Some form of like prayer or meditation I think is very important because to me that's also where gratitude comes from. 
when you realize that there's a higher power in this world then you can really set the tone for how you do things personally that's what i found works for me and then yeah i train every day some form of movement even on the road i gotta move i gotta box i gotta hoop i gotta lift weights i gotta do something that is my stress relief it's way more than physical i think a lot of people skew the mentality of what fitness and, and health is it's how you feel it's not about what you look like that's icing on the cake that's a byproduct of making yourself feel a certain way it's about your mental health right mental health comes from what do you do on a physical level every day that that keeps the mind right keeps the mind in tune and that's why i love boxing because you have to be sharp if you're not sharp in it you're getting punched in the face like the repercussions of it are getting smacked in the face and that's a wake-up call it makes you escape the world and like put your digital social stuff away and like focus on what's ahead of you it makes you stay present to be good at it giving yourself at 25 knowing what you know now to stay patient everybody has a unique life journey and don't do things just because other people are doing it go in the flow of life and, and realize you're on a unique journey and, and don't put expectation of yourself to have things done at a certain time and age because other people around you are doing that yeah. pave your own way and do it your own way